Hello, my dear friend, welcome back. My name is David Cortese and this is my website www.david-cortese.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the diaspora algorithm, that is an important topic about the software engineering. So, the Dijkstra algorithm is a well-known graph search algorithm developed by Edgar W. Dijkstra in 1956 and published in 1959. The algorithm is used for finding the shortest path between nodes in a graph. It is primarily applied to graphs with non-negative weights. Dijkstra's algorithm is a greedy algorithm used to compute the shortest path from a source node to all other nodes in a graph. The graph is represented as a collection of nodes, vertices, connected by edges links, where each edge has an associated weight, distance, cost, or time. Dijkstra's algorithm guarantees that the shortest path from the start node to each other node is uh, calculated efficiently. So application, Dijkstra's algorithm is widely used in real-world applications. Routing, it is used in network routing protocols, OSPF, ISIS, to compute the shortest path between routers. GPS systems, navigation system use uh, it to calculate the shortest path between geographical locations. Traffic systems, for optimizing and finding the best route in traffic management systems. Telecommunication networks, used for designing efficient data transmission paths. Game development. Uh, Pathfinding algorithms in games use uh, Dijkstra's algorithm to determine the shortest route for characters. How it works? Dijkstra's algorithm starts from a given source vertex and explores neighboring vertices, expanding outward until all vertices in the graph have been processed or until the shortest path to a specific destination vertex is determined. Initialization assign a tentative distance value to every node, set the initial node source distance to zero, and uh, all other nodes to infinity, which represents that they are not reachable in Italy. Mark all nodes as unvisited and create a set of nodes to store visited uh, nodes. Main process. Select the unvisited node with the smallest tentative distance and mark it as visited. This is the current node. For each neighboring node of the current node, calculate the distance from the source node to the neighboring node. If this distance is less than the previously recorded distance, update the shortest distance. Repeat this process until all nodes have been visited. Termination. When all nodes are visited or when the shortest distance to the destination node is found, the algorithm terminates. The shortest distance for each node from the source node is uh, finalized. So this is the, the pseudocode. So function diestra graph source distance source as argument uh, zero so initial distance from source source to source is zero for each vertex v in graph if v is not source then the distance of v is uh, in infinite so initial initialize all other vertices with uh, infinite and and v to unvisited set all nodes initially unvisited while unvisited set is not empty so the, uh, the current uh, is vertex uh, in unvisited set with the smallest distance and remove current from unvisited set for each neighbor v of current alt uh, is distance of current plus length current comma uh, v if alt is less than distance v then distance v is alt so it updates the distance to v 
and uh, at the end return uh, the distance, uh, the complexity, the uh, dice as algorithm has different time complexities depending on how the priority uh, queue or uh, mini if is implemented using a simple array it is O of V squared where V is the number of vertices using a binary if mini if it is O of V plus C times log V where V is the number of vertices and E is the number of edges using a Fibonacci if it is O of E plus V times log V where, where V is the number of vertices and E is the number of edges it is the most efficient but more complex to implement so here you can find a program so it is an implementation of the Dijkstra's algorithm in C you can copy and paste this code uh, inside code blocks and you can try by yourself so as you can see there is uh, a define of V9 that is the number of vertices in the graph then there is this function min distance that has, has arguments int distance and int visited that are two arrays at the beginning int min is int max uh, min index uh, then there is a for loop then there is the uh, print solution function that returns void then there is the dice graph function so as, as you can see this i will hold the shortest distance from source to i and uh, visited i will be true if vertex i is included in the shortest path tree so this initialize of distance as infinite and visited as false and then this distance of source vertex from itself is always zero you can copy paste this code uh, so you can ex experiment by yourself the code it's very important to uh, to, to program with the, the compiler because uh, practice uh, makes perfect and by doing this exercise uh, every day uh, I don't know if you remember the movie Karate Kid so it, it is like uh, wax on wax off uh, you, you learn coding uh, uh, by doing this exercise day by day so conclusion uh, Dijkstra's algorithm is an essential algorithm for finding the shortest path in graphs with non-negative weights with its use of a greedy strategy, it efficiently calculates the shortest path in both theoretical, theoretical and practical applications. Although its worst case time complexity depends on the implementation, it is widely used in fields such as networking, navigation and computer games. So you can find these uh, PDF uh, inside my website that is www.dev-protest.com exactly inside the, the, the section of software engineering but you can find also a lot of information about web development mathematics, physics, chemistry and so on you can find also some games like for example the game of chess you can play against uh, the CPU. You can chat with me using my personal chat. You, you must sign up uh, with your email. And, uh, dear friend, your donation is important. Uh, help me update this website and join this uh, community. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.